Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. I have wanted to share this recipe with you for a very long time. Well, actually, since my daughter and I spent six amazing days in Paris a few years ago. I absolutely love chocolate, and Paris had so many incredible cafes and patisseries with various desserts, and I especially adored the chocolate treats, most of which, of course, I couldn't have since I was on keto at that point. So I decided to make this decadent, creamy, Parisian hot chocolate, which is one treat I just had to make and share with you. And that's because today is the third anniversary of this channel, and it's my birthday. So, as a special thing, in this video I'll show you how easy it is to make my Parisian hot chocolate. But be warned, this Parisian, or French hot chocolate, as it's also known, is for serious chocolate lovers. And this keto chocolate recipe is more than just a drink. It's kind of a cross between a, a hot chocolate and a nice creamy chocolate pudding. This is more than just a drink. It's a dessert. It's thick, velvety, and so rich. You will feel totally satiated with just a Parisian size serving. And if you watch the entire video, I will also show you how to turn this keto chocolate into a bulletproof hot chocolate. One quick note, in the description below, I have also given you a discount code for this Earth Junkie MCT powder I'm going to be using to make the bulletproof version. And here's the full disclosure, I am not getting paid or receiving any remuneration of any kind for featuring this product. I just thought it was a really good product and I have been authorized to give all of my viewers a discount code which is KETOMEALS15 if you want to buy this Earth Junkie powder. Now here's why I like Earth Junkie. First of all, it uses only organic, sustainably sourced coconut. And in my opinion, I think this is a really good product. I really like how this is packaged and all the information that you can find on the exterior. For example, it clearly shows and explains what each of the MCT chains used in the product are and their benefits to you. And there's a pie chart that shows you what percentage of each of the C8, C10, and C12 chains are used. And the Earth Junkie MCT powder blended very nicely into my Parisian hot chocolate without having any effect on the texture. And before you ask, no, you can't use liquid MCT oil because it will leave it very greasy and slick and it will change the viscosity of the product. And that's not what I wanted. So if you want to make your hot chocolate bulletproof, do check out this Earth Junkie product. It's a brand new company run by a really nice family. And after the recipe segment, I will show you some photos that we took while in Paris and describe some of the places that we really liked. This is only a small sample of photos, but I hope you'll like it. Now let's get started. The macronutrient ratio for the bulletproof version of my Parisian hot chocolate with the Earth Junkie MCT powder is 4.5 to 1, with 7.7 .7 total carbs, 3.6 grams of dietary fiber, resulting in 4.1 grams of net carbs per Parisian serving. <laughs> I'll explain that later. To make the best possible hot chocolate, you have to start with the best quality unsweetened dark chocolate. Or you could also substitute the unsweetened dark chocolate with 90 or 99% Lind dark chocolate. Whichever of these solid chocolates you use, the first thing you should do is either chop or grate the block of chocolate. Grating or chopping the chocolate will help the chocolate melt more quickly and evenly as you're slowly cooking it and it'll prevent scorching on the bottom of the pan, which could happen when you have big chunks of chocolate. The next thing I do is I take my heavy bottom saucepan and pour my heavy cream and unsweetened almond milk. You can use either plain or vanilla flavored almond milk, but remember it has to be unsweetened. I'm using unsweetened almond milk in this version, but you can use a plain or other unsweetened nut or seed milk, just nothing too strong like coconut milk because that will affect the taste of the hot chocolate. Then place the pot onto the stovetop element, which you set to medium-low. Heat the cream and almond mixture to a light simmer, at which point you add your grated or chopped chocolate and the Dutch processed cocoa powder, your sweetener. I'm using a Lacanto monk fruit sweetener here, which I have ground to a fine confectionery powder and add your salt, which by the way will enhance the chocolate flavor, but you will not taste it. 
Then simply whisk as the milk is simmering and continue cooking until the solid chocolate is completely melted and the mixture begins to thicken. Please do not raise the temperature. As you can see, it's not really simmering. All it's doing is having a light steam come off, which will evaporate the liquid and thicken it up. It takes me about eight to 10 minutes to get it to the right consistency, at which point you'll notice that the cream and chocolate have condensed quite a bit and the mixture is thick and shiny and looks very velvety. At this point, remove the saucepan from the stovetop and add your vanilla. Whisk vigorously to combine and integrate the vanilla and pour yourself a cup if you want just a plain version. But for the bulletproof version, which is what I usually make, after adding the vanilla, I also add the MCT powder and whisk vigorously for about 30 to 60 seconds. I like to serve this thick and creamy decadent French style hot chocolate immediately while it's still nice and warm. By the way, it's also really good at room temperature. I just prefer it warm. Please note, because this is very thick and very rich, each serving is a Parisian sized serving, which basically means <laughs> not a North American coffee cup or mug, but instead use a delicate coffee cup. As you can see, this Parisian hot chocolate is very rich and thick, and I find that it's a perfect ending for a meal. I especially love to have a cup as a treat when I'm doing OMAD because it complements any meal and a cup of this delicious Parisian hot chocolate adds to my total healthy fats for my overall meal. And as you may know, cocoa and hot chocolate is a really great antioxidant. And the use of the Earth Junkie MCT powder in my keto hot chocolate keeps me satiated so I don't get cravings and I can do a full 24 hour fast between my OMAD meals. Now as promised, here are a few photos of some of the beautiful sights we enjoyed in this amazing historic city. On the first day, one of the things we like to do when we're traveling is take a city tour. You hear a good overview and you learn about the history of the city and then you can decide which sites you want to visit and spend more time at. While in Paris, we chose to stay at a very historic hotel near the Moulin Rouge area. And that's because this is where the French Impressionists, such as Toulouse-Lautrec, Manet, Monet, and others, would frequently go in the evening after enjoying the cabaret at the Moulin Rouge and have one of their favorite drinks, a blue fairy. So I hope you enjoy the French music as you look at the photos that I've provided. And by the way, the photos are labeled so you know what you're looking at.
thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video, which commemorates the third anniversary of this channel. I would really appreciate it if you could take some time and let me know how you would like this channel to develop and what kind of things you would like featured in the future and to feature healthy whole food recipes that you and your entire family and your friend group will enjoy whether you're on keto or not.